Hello and welcome everyone, Lahart here, and today I want to give you guys a little sneak peek and early heads up at my new Crusader Kings 3 series that I'll be starting early next week. I'll be streaming and recording it like I've done for all my previous Crusader Kings 3 series. I'll be streaming it over on my Twitch channel, www.twitch.tv forward slash LionheartX10. You can find the link in the description and pinned to the top of the comment section, but I'll also be recording and editing it at the same time to upload in hour or so chunks here on YouTube uh, as often as as i can probably next week i'll aim for at least five uploads monday through to sunday and the following week probably three or four uploads after that going forward it kind of depends on how often i stream the series i am planning on streaming at least twice a week although for next week it's launch week i'll probably stream it three possibly four times uh, Monday through to Friday uh, just so that we can have a really good start allows me to create lots of content that I can then edit up into episodes here on YouTube the first stream will be on Monday the 26th between 3 p.m and 6 p.m BST the first episode here on YouTube will be released at 4 p.m BST on Tuesday the 27th so don't miss either of those uh, most likely there'll also be additional streams on the Tuesday Wednesday Thursday or Friday, a combination of which check out my schedule when I announce that early next week to find out all about that. But what is this new campaign, Lionheart? Well, who are you going to be playing as? Where are you going to be playing as? Why are you going to be playing as? Well, uh, we're actually looking at the chap here on the screen. And I've previously been calling him Jeffrey the Hairy because I assumed that was the English translation of his name. It's uh, Githray the Hairy. Hopefully I've not completely butchered the pronunciation uh, but I was actually doing a little bit of kind of research into that name and apparently it isn't a direct translation to Jeffrey apparently it has a Germanic origin so I don't actually know what that means but apparently it means um, desires peace is is the meaning behind the Giffray name so uh, that's going to be quite interesting especially because he is a um, a key character in the struggle for Iberia which is what this campaign is going to be about so we'll dive on in and just have a look at the setup for it so it's the 867 start and it's the top one there the struggle for Iberia Giffray the hairy it's a hard challenge he's the count of Urgel at the start and he's of the um, Barcelona uh, dynasty of the house there and i guess our goal is going to be to unite all of iberia and end the struggle once and for all we'll have a quick little read through his bit here and then we'll just dive on in take a look at his start and uh, go through some of the options that we've got there so he's 27 at the start when his father and uncle were butchered by the duke of toulouse the frankish king took their lands leaving Giffray and his cousins destitute it's been 20 years and the wheel turns Reappointed to his father's lands, Giffray's scheming cousin has likewise taken back his birthright and their new liege is a cousin of the man who killed their parents. You of all people know that fortunes can change in the blink of an eye and crave a more secure prize, Barcelona. So that's going to kind of be our early goal is kind of you bring together um, our forces and take control of Barcelona itself and then expand out from this northeastern point of Iberia and sweeping across the lands and seeing what adventures uh, lie in the store for us. But let's dive on in into the campaign very briefly and just take a look at his start. And this will be where we where we kick things off on the stream on Monday. So the Iberian struggle, the Iberian Peninsula is in turmoil, a conflict born of its storied past. Outsiders covet the land and the great Muslim and Christian powers seek to sway its people. But those who live and die on its soil will ultimately determine its fate. I will not let slip my vision for my homeland by God. House to Barcelona will weather the storm and will see my will fulfilled. You're, involved, you're one of the involved participants in the Iberian struggle. Uh, this region uh, is currently in a phase of opportunity. Your actions and those of the other participants will determine the future phases of the struggle and its ending. Take hold of fate. So yeah, that's obviously what we're going to you know go for the uh, the struggle for iberia there so we can see it here the iberian struggle i've never done a campaign with this it's why i wanted to make my next campaign this because since the dlc came out that added this in i've wanted to check it out and i just haven't had a chance so yes i very much want to uh want to do this one next so finally 
we're at it. Finally, we're getting a chance to check it out. Um, so if anyone has any tips for the Iberian struggle or a brief synopsis of how it works, uh, feel free to let me know. Otherwise, I will learn as I go. As always, your advice, tips and tactics are welcomed. Uh, during the streams, we will, of course, bring back our name, our Crusader Kings 3 uh, name redeem suggestion. So you guys can start suggesting names live on the stream. And we can see there's various ways to turn the catalyst towards hostility by doing various actions there but i'm not going to worry too much about that. i'm just going to take a look at decisions um so found the kingdom of aragon so we can actually do that we have that as an option uh we can strengthen bloodline we can form portugal um i don't know if we i don't know if we would do that but i, I kind of like the idea of actually trying to form portugal um we would be obviously fairly split but i i quite like that major decision i'm assuming obviously as we go there will be the option eventually as we conquer enough territory for the major decision to pop up to form the empire of hispania don't want to restore the uh, the holy roman empire or anything like that uh, we could also found the kingdom of aragon if we want to i don't know if forming aragon removes your the ability to form portugal if somebody knows feel free to let me know uh strength of bloodline's all good this i should say isn't a one lifetime shot challenge or or campaign like my much shorter a knight's tale that i've just recently done uh this is going to be a full-on campaign like my rise of the roman empire uh, or restoration of the roman empire rather my um iceland to india series my cornwall campaign my mongol empire series it's another big full-on series like that uh, that you'll get to see regularly uh every single week so there he is. He is vengeful, ambitious, just, patient, skill tactician, rough terrain expert, quick and shrewd. I don't know if those are going to be the same stats that we get. Will, will that change? Does anybody know? Um, but yeah, we'll we'll start fresh on uh, Monday next week. So if those stats change a little bit, then so be it. But seeing as he's one of the kind of named characters um, that you can jump into, I, I imagine maybe it doesn't change. We'll obviously need to get a spouse, get a wife, start building up our dynasty. Um... So yeah, our father was was killed there by the Duke of Toulouse. So we'll probably want to get some revenge and vengeance through that. But yeah, I guess our um, our major goal is kind of twofold: is to win the Iberian struggle, however best we can do that, and also conquer all of Hispania. Uh, if we get some other interesting decisions that pop up within that, we may well extend and add in additional objectives um feel free to let me know if there's any major decisions that are worth going for outside of these ones here uh but as i said we'll probably go for forming portugal but we could form the kingdom of aragon if that doesn't disrupt the portugal one because i think that'd be that'd be good fun uh, and then yeah i assume eventually once we conquer enough land we'll get the empire of hispania um, which will show on up there uh, that's actually empire frankia that's why that's probably not showing up as an option for us because we don't actually hold any territory to for that major decision to um, appear. it's This one is the title there. But our early goal is going to be getting rid of this guy um, and taking Barcelona and moving our capital there and making that, you know, our focal point for the rest of the campaign. Building up Barcelona, making it nice, profitable, rich and everything else that that entails um your lifestyle is obviously martial i mean that that's great early on i am not a fan of how you've gone through that particularly we could think about resetting and going for some stress um also obviously we've got all the new activities in there we probably won't be taking part it, or rather hosting one ourselves maybe apart from a feast or a hunt probably trying to do a, a fair few hunts probably do some pilgrimages as well hopefully we can just go to other people's um events and activities as well and gain some good uh, traits that way but yeah we'll be playing through the generations i don't know exactly what end date um this campaign will be at um but we'll see i love his helm and obviously his beard i love that he's the hairy what is that be you man or monkey at a glance it's difficult to tell i i i feel like you're my spirit animal Giffrey. so this is what we'll be kicking things off with uh, on Monday. I hope you're looking forward to it. Um, we're going to do it. Um, I, w I was wondering whether I'd use mods or not, but I, I, I quite enjoy the, the vanilla experience. We'll, so we'll do it as an Iron Man run um, as we as we typically do um, with these campaigns. So uh, there won't be any manual saving. It'll all be automatic. So I can't kind of save scum or anything like that. Um, whatever decisions happen, you know, if I accidentally happen to set fire to a hall with all my family in, uh, we have to live with that decision. If we can live with that decision. But yeah, make sure you tune in on Monday to the first stream. If you can't make it, then it will 
of course be recorded and edited up first episode releasing on tuesday the 27th there'll be yeah there'll be there'll be an episode tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday uh next week of this series of this campaign as we go on through so tips tactics um synopsis of how the iberian struggle works anything you want to share let me know in the comment section but until the start of the series uh monday for the stream tuesday for the first upload hope you've enjoyed hope you're looking forward to it take care and ciao for now